Yellowstone supervolcano has been discovered to be much bigger in size. Scientists believe that it's actually double the size than what was originally thought. Callum Horace Fest UK from USGS scientists reports Yellowstone discovered the magma pocket hiding below the supervolcano in the national park is more than double the size they originally thought. This is according to their statistics. Yellowstone volcano, as we know, gets its name because it's a supervolcano and it has the ability to inflict devastation not only in the area but also in a, uh, on a worldwide level. It's located in Wyoming, Montana and Idaho. The volcano is constantly monitored by USGS for signs that any type of that activity such as an eruption may be on the way. But scientists at the University of Utah made an astonishing discovery themselves in the year 2013. James Farrell, alongside a team of scientists, found the magma reservoir below the caldera far exceeds previous estimates. Dr. Farrell and his team calculated the size by analyzing the earthquakes and measured data collected from 1984 to 2011 from 40 seismometers installed around Yellowstone National Park over the caldera and most of the supervolcano. The team used software to calculate how it took, how long it took for seismic waves to travel from the epicenter of an earthquake to the surface seismometers. Next, they analyzed that data to find regions where the seismic waves appeared to slow down. That would be a sign that the waves were traveling through magma. Dr. Farrell then used that information to create a map of the underground magma reservoir beneath Yellowstone. He said in 2013, we found it to be two and a half times larger than what we thought. That's not to say it's getting any bigger, it's just that our ability to see it is getting better. We believe it will erupt again someday, but we have no idea when. What we're seeing now agrees with the geological data that we have seen about past eruptions. And that means there's a potential for the same type of eruption that we've seen in the past." End quote. Now we know Yellowstone, in the area that we have the caldera now, has erupted with super eruptions 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and about 630, 640,000 years ago. Actually, 630,000 years ago, it had a double eruption 170 years apart. It has since erupted uh, 70,000 years ago with a lava eruption, 180,000 years ago, the, these were much smaller than the super eruptions, of course. And since the 70,000 year eruption, they had another 80 eruptions. Now, scientists believe these would have been monumental, the super eruptions, that is, and that they created effects on a global level. It's capable of fueling more than 240 cubic miles of magma across Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming, and of course, causing climate effects worldwide. But experts are not sure when, of course, this will happen again. Farrell said, you'll get ashfall as far away as the Great Plains and even farther east. A lot of people say that the Yellowstone supervolcano is overdue to erupt, but there is no evidence that it is overdue. We can't say when the next eruption is going to happen. However, I think we'll have anywhere from weeks to months of warning that magma is moving up into the shallow crust and that something is going on, he says. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.